studied from the Chateaux for three years, three days a week, three hours a day. And when I finished, I didn't want to be, but I was a portrait painter. And for the next 12 years, I painted portraits. But there was something wrong with that because I didn't want to paint just one subject matter. I remember coming home from the Chateaux and painting my first interior of my bedroom from the hallway. And I thought to myself, love interiors. I've got to be able to paint interiors. So after 12 years of painting portraits, I thought no more because I'm not painting for myself. I was painting for other people and I didn't know what those other people wanted, nor did they sometimes. So uh, I stopped the portrait business, which was extremely lucrative, but I stopped it and I started painting just what I wanted to paint. And I wanted to grow as an artist. Uh, that was, uh, when I was in my 30s and 40s, I thought, I'm gonna be the best. And I worked every day very hard to be the best I could possibly be. I had a great time and still do painting everything. I love horses. I love their bone structure, their movement, the colors of the jockeys. I love landscape scenes with little villages in the background. Oh my God. I love interiors like Bonard and Vuillard with these magical colors. I love still lifes. Still lifes are a great way to learn. I recommend it for everybody. You don't paint from photographs, you paint from real life. And that's the most important lesson that I learned. Uh, I love gardens, although I think that gardens are one of the most difficult things to paint because there's all that green. And different colors of green to me is rather boring because it's all cool. I want to paint warm and cool and put those two together and let them zing each other. So one of the best days of my life was when I met Kelly de Gasquet in a sculpture class. Thank God she spoke English because my French was horrible. And we became fast friends. Kelly is the one who introduced me to Bernadette. One August night, summer night, she said, you want to go to a picnic? And I always had the habit of saying yes to anything Kelly offered. So we went, we drove over to Le Marin and uh, who should be hosting the picnic but was Bernadette. And in her Villa Saint-Louis, which is a chambre d'hôte, where she had five bedrooms and where it was always full because people loved to stay in her beautiful place. It was decorated by her husband who had passed away 25 years before. And it was is the most charming place I've ever been into. But we arrived and it was magical. There were people uh, having wine in the garden and then everybody brings a, a, a dish. It can be a dessert or a main course or, you know, hors d'oeuvres or whatever. Uh, no one calls. No one knows how many people are going to show up. They just show up. The locals show up. And so we had this wonderful time. We were in the garden. It was August and the sun was setting and we met a, a fabulous gal named Christelle Van Malsen, who is a Dutch friend, who has become like a daughter and a sister to me. She called us five months later in February of 2012 and said, well, I found you a place to live. And it happened to be right across the street from Bernadette's Chambre d'Ode. So we knew where it was. It was on the principal rue, Rue Principale de Lourmarin. And it was a charming little apartment, albeit it didn't have a studio and it didn't have a swimming pool, but it was in the right place at the right time. We got to know everybody in Lure Moran. It became our little village, our little village. And three and a half years later, we, I finally talked Don into moving into our own house because as an artist, I have to create my own surroundings. I have to create my own garden. So we had a wonderful three and a half years there and Bernadette was so lovely to us. She was always coming over and said, do you want to ride your bike? Do you want to ride? In French. And of course I'd say yes, because I went out and bought an electric bike just like hers. And we went all over the countryside. So we had, uh, and I learned about Laura Moran. We had the most wonderful time together. And she was just very hospitable 
genteel, lovely, and generous to us. So we've had a wonderful time. She's introduced us to so many people in Lower Moran. We feel now like we're natives, we're locals, and we've lived uh, three and a half years across the street from her and then another five years in a house we bought. Um, I can't say enough nice things about Bernadette. I've probably painted her house 12 times in the past and just recently I've been on a roll and I have all my paraphernalia over there and I have painted seven paintings now in the last several weeks. I can't get enough of her interiors. I love to paint interiors. Interiors to me are just uh, chocolate cake and ice cream. So I call Bernadette the Grand Dame of Lure Marin because she is well known. Almost every foreigner who has bought a house in the area has stayed at Bernadette's Chambre d'Ope when they first came to Lure Marin. She's well known. She rides her bike around every day. Uh, I just love her spirit, her energy, and she's so kind to me. So just recently I've done, I'm doing a series of paintings of her place. I've probably done 12 paintings of her, the inside and outside. I've done workshops and brought workshop people over to paint the outside of her place and the inside. Uh, it's just such lovely subject matter. You can't, as an artist, I can't resist it. So right now I'm painting like mad. I'm having a ball. And she is so enthusiastic, so encouraging. She loves what I do. And she loves the comp my company. And because my French is good enough now to carry on a conversation with her, we have wonderful conversations and good chats, and she comes and goes and watches my progress. I have the best time putting melodies together in color. It turns me on, I hope it turns other people on. They say the best things happen in life to one who waits. And the best thing at 76, I can say now, the best thing that ever happened to us at Dawn and me is that at 67, we moved to France. The light here is incredible, and I will always be thankful we made that decision. <laughs>